already worked it out so that we'll still get along. Paul is saying to the Romans and us, why are you still dating God when he already fell in love with you and I before we were ever born? Why date when he justified or cleared up any wrong that would stand in between the both of us? Why date when he makes everything work together for the good of the relationship? John put it in simple terms. Here he is, John 14 and 15. If you love me, come on, you want to do what? Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus proposed to you and I. Over 2,000 years ago, he proposed to you and I. And we're still stringing him along. Oh God, you missed it. You missed it, you missed it. You're still stringing him along, disobeying his commands. You only call him when you want something. That's the only time you text him. That's the only time you Facebook message him. That's the only time you tweet him. When you want something. You only want, you want, you want, listen, you only want to be seen with him on Sunday. You only, you only want to be intimate with him and, and tell him you love him in front of a company uh-huh. on Sunday uh-huh. when right. company's here. Uh-huh. You want everybody to see, I love God. <laughs> Jesus wants to settle down and you keep running around. You, you, you got that, this is what you got. You got that bad boy, bad girl thing going on. You just want to hook up with that bad girl and that bad boy. You know that that, that bad boy, bad girl thing you keep seeing and somebody all married to him? <laughs> you know he ain't faithful. But you're still looking up with it. You know he abused you. You know she abused you. But you're still going out with it. He changed his name on you. He don't call himself Deval. He calls himself Sontong. <laughs> He said, everybody call him devil, but his real name is Deval. <laughs> Y'all had a good time, then you feel guilty about it all week long. You know he's seeing somebody else on the side. And you know, everybody he's ever gone with ended up worse. But you still want to go out with it. To call a line out of the movie The Color Purple, you know he got that nasty woman disease. <laughs> But you still sleep with it. Got that nasty boy disease. Won't be next. Why are you still sleeping with it? Man? He lied to you. He always lying to you. He's a father of lies. He's a father of lies. You know he lying. Rich Bishop. Mm-hmm. You see a lie coming out of his mouth. You know it's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes you feel good. So you go on, believe the lie now. Yeah. You know he ain't gonna do nothing for you. Take your money and don't give you no blessings back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
telling you that Jesus want to marry you, but he said Jesus, he, he keeps fooling you, making you think that you and Jesus won't have a good time. So why do you keep why do you keep saying that? Preaching bishop. Jesus says, I come, I came, I came to marry you. I want to put a ring on your finger and make you an honest woman or an honest man. And I'm gonna love you to death and then afterwards. I'm going to love you to death. And then after death, I'm going to love you. All you got to do is say, yes. Love your neighbor and ask why you keep saying sick to home? Look, look, look at each other and say, why do you keep saying the ball? <laughs> the ball. Change his name, right? Change his name. Uh-huh. You don't go by that other name. No? <laughs> uh-huh. Jesus said, look, I, I stretched out wide. In front of everybody. Mm-hmm. I didn't hide my love from you. When you were hanging out with him, I died for you. My God. Mm. Then you want to hook up with me and date me. All you have to do is say, yes. Come on, class. All you have to do is say, 